A mystery dog illness has many pet owners concerned. It's been spreading across the US. Reports are showing that it's highly contagious and in some cases has even resulted in death. Now, Fox 51's Ashlyn Anderson spoke to a local veterinarian and she joins us live from Tyler with everything we need to know. So Ashlyn, what can you tell us? Katie, luckily there are no confirmed cases in Texas yet. We spoke to the owner of the Rose City Animal Clinic and he says pet owners should not panic. Respiratory illness has affected dogs across 14 states. It has not made its way to Texas, but with reports that some dogs have died, worry their owners. Well, everyone's calling. I mean, it, it's scary, right? Owner of Rose City Animal Clinic, Dr. Seth Shirey, doesn't believe it is a mystery. I think we're just having an, an abnormal outbreak of all the old things. It's scaring people into thinking there's something new. What to look out for is a runny nose, lethargy, and an extreme cough that will not stop. In some dogs, it will progress to pneumonia, and then you'll have viral or bacterial pneumonia, fluid in the lungs, and then if untreated, and sometimes even if treated, they can still die from it. As people head home for the holidays, Shari encourages owners to avoid dog parks and boarding. Dog shows or boarding their dog at multiple places or traveling across the country. There is not a preventative medication ahead of the bacterial infection, but you can take preventative measures. Get your regular vaccines, you know, do your normal yearly things. The only thing you might add that you have it in the past is an influenza vaccine. If your pet is experiencing these symptoms, do not wait. Bring them in immediately. The sooner we address any respiratory issue, the better chance we have of resolving it. To protect our four-legged friends and keep them safe this holiday season. Shirey adds that there is no new medication to treat the illness, but the best advice is to keep your dogs away from others just in case. Reporting in Tyler Ashland Anderson, Fox 51 News.